Seven possessions, five marks and three goals two for Andrew McDougall. West Coast 12, 779. Brisbane 10, 12, 72. The home side by seven points. We played 15 minutes in the final term. Voss to respond for the Lions. Now to Ackermanis. Long kick, one on one. Power the chance for Brisbane. Clears the contest and runs out of bounds. So Brisbane down to one fit man on the bench. They're running out of soldiers. And West Coast back with a handy seven point break. 15 minutes gone in the final term. Lions have to dig deep yet again. Jarman up against Seabe. Flipped it to the back of the contest, but no one there for Brisbane. Judd won't break the power tackle. Flipped it out. Boss disposed of Cousins. It's built to Lappin. Left foot snap from 45. Misses to the left. Nigel Lappin, one goal, two this afternoon. And margin back to an even goal as we tick over 16 minutes. Over nine remaining as Wirapunda again ponders whether to go short or long. Got a couple of options wide to the pockets. Decides to thump it long towards Lynch. Jones there to fly as well. Through his hands at the back. Seavey. Cousins through traffic. Had a couple to beat. Handball partly smothered. Ricochet to Hart. Now to Black. Black spears inside 50. Wirapunda couldn't quite hang on. McRae to tidy up. Handball into the path of Ackermanis. Braun there to put pressure on. It spills to Chambers. West Coast stand up again down back. They'll be happy to find the line. Nothing doing. Power to the top of the goal square. In from the side. Notting. Off the ground. Misses. He had a free run at the pack. Tim Notting on that occasion. Couldn't quite hang on. Soccer through from behind. And the pressure enormous down back for the West Coast Eagle defence. Really did have to fly on the football. Should have done a lot better than that. Nodding, but he's just got himself all caught up in the air. Five points to margin. The smell of the draw in the air. Lynch. Charman should mark this, although he's going to be outnumbered. Two on one. Embley. It's pulled it in underneath him. Brisbane have numbers out wide. They find Voss, who goes short. He's gone wide. Day, boss, but you just don't expect that. Had power sitting out there, Bond, who was a direct opposition, was Fletcher, it was miles off him. An opportunity going begging for the Brisbane Lions. Very unusual mistake for the skipper. Another dodgy kick in, Tim. Brisbane had enormous numbers at ground level when that one hit the deck. Well, Punda down the line. Again, Michael. Pumps it down. Groves, front of the pack by Embley. McGrath. Here is Voss, loops it over the top to Michael, good bump by McDougall, forced the turnover, Emily having a good last quarter, look out, Jard tackled by Ackermanis, Hunter took his eye off it, Voss gathered it, all up to the wing, Jard hands on knees. Humidity really taking its toll, the players of both sides looking very fatigued. I think we saw that with Sean Hart at three quarter time. Labouring, done a fantastic job on Cousins. Embley having a great last quarter. Simon Black feigning for a free kick, didn't get it. Will the bounce of the ball favour Hart? He gathers, being herded up, looks inside. Boss took a long time, now he kicks back to that pocket. The power, didn't get a fine bounce. Lynch has gone to ground. Cousins was led and should get a free kick and does. We go back. Five points to lead. We're about to enter time on. Still plenty of time. Low scoring contest. 79 plays 74. 39,666. A turn through the turnstiles here at Subiaco Oval. What is an intriguing contest. A lot on the line for West Coast. Lose this game. They'll be one and three. The struggle getting out of their back half. Cousins not a penetrating kick. Opportunity for Brisbane. Again, they decide to go long. McDougall in best position. Again, Michael, a well-timed fist. Spills to Lappin at ground level. Has Voss on the left. Tugs it to the pocket. Chance for Hart and Cousins. Cousins with body strength stood up. Pike wrapped him up. Carroll now to Braun. Happy to take it to the line. Succeeds in doing so. Throw in. Pressure football. It's been like this all afternoon. Neither side has been able to break the shackles. So many contests. So many stoppages. 
and Brisbane have dominated them 43 to 27 in clearances this afternoon. Could be telling in the last couple of minutes. Lappin uses Black. Now the half can line it up from 35. Tries to bend it back. Can't quite do so. A big opportunity goes begging for the Brisbane Lions. The margin now four points. Kicked over 20 minutes in the final term. Six and a half remaining. Now it's Quinton, Lynch, Quinton Lynch in the hot seat. He's got the job that no one wants. That's kicking in for the West Coast at the moment. He'll thump it long. Booming kick. Carolyn Sharman spills to the back. Kerr. Over and out. Probably the, uh, the best result the West Coast Eagles have had. And you can see the humidity is taking its toll. Even Kerr now having problems with cramp and the calf muscles. He needs to come off. He's signalling to come off. Waters is warming up. Hot waters. Comes to Lappin inside 50. Ackermanis wants to turn his man. Brought inside out. Now Lynch is back. He's got to rush it through. He's got a man out wide. What Punda. So he keeps the cool head. Now he's got to find someone. Embley will be the target. Did well Embley. Scott wants to make a contest. Force the spoil. Good shepherd from Kerr. Embley was he out. Doesn't matter now. It's on the hand in the hands of CB. Heard out again behind play. Staker on the lead. Doesn't take the mark. Pushed off it easily by Shattuck. He goes back. Michael's got a problem. Swung in the tackle. A good tackle too by Sandby. They're under pressure, Brisbane. The ball will have spilled out. Staker tries to eat it out. Umpire said, I'll pull it up as Kerr comes off. Gee, that was good work from Daniel Kerr. That was the last little bit of juice he had left in the tank, Peter. And it set up that passage for West Coast. You can see the motor just conking out, but a great shepherd. Fantastic to see that from a strong midfielder. Ordinary bounce. Michael has to punch it down. No free kick for Fletcher. Charman through traffic. Throws it on the boot. Still plenty of time to tick over five minutes. Carroll hits it hard. He's out number three to one. Trent Carroll, but did well to lock the ball up. Who was caught behind him. And Trent Carroll, often much maligned, did well in that contest. Had to share the ball, Peter Wilson. Yeah, we always talk about Trent not being overly flash at his feet. Just did that very, very well. Good, strong body work. Well, this is a war of attrition. Chad Fletcher cramping up as well for West Coast. We know Brisbane are short on numbers. It's really going to come down in the last five minutes as to who wants it more. Mental strength to push yourself through the pain barrier. The ball's with Morrison. Forward of the wing. Hunter leads. Matera screaming for it at the top of the square. Dangerous kick. But CB made it good. And West Coast retained possession, 60 from home. Also a confident mark from the young player in his first game. Really does look like he's going to be all right this point. Done some impressive things. We'll launch it long from 60. We'll go to the goal square. Another enormous pack of players, almost a mark to West Coast. Staker, pinched by McGrath. Still under pressure down there, the Brisbane defence. McGrath kept his head over it and defused a potentially explosive situation. Gained an extra 25 or 30 metres. And now we'll have a ball up 40 metres out from goal instead of 15. Seen a couple of players stage before he kicks. Akamanis did it earlier in the third quarter. Judd then, umpires not having a bar of it. Charm in the tap. Beautifully down into the path of power, but he gave it up to Embley. He is smothered. And it's been the sort of tough, physical, gritty, mentally challenging game that Warsfold and Lee Matthews would have really enjoyed themselves as players. Certainly has been a change of game plan for the West Coast Eagles, who have just been peppering the goals all year. Another bounce. Look at the numbers around this ball. Michael fists it clear of the congestion. Corey ran onto it. Got a kind bounce. He's outnumbered at the moment. Morrison rushes Voss, gives it to McDougall, and now gets it back. Runs to 70. Chad Morrison chips inside 50. Brisbane with numbers eight. Missed it up. Matera will snap and throws it wide out of bounds on the full. communication from the Brisbane defence count on that occasion just over three remaining the margin four points great game Brisbane want to change it up and Michael goes short to Scott three minutes they just have to kick a goal they've kicked ten for the day Brisbane Johnson's on his own, but Michael decides to go for the long option to the wing. McLaren up, road by Brown, gives to Voss. Kick half smothered, makes it to half forward. Pike overruns it. Carroll back first. Got one high. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, Sean Hart just coming through. 
getting a light brush across the elbow it's a desk very little in it for a head like Frank Carroll Judd forced to kick under pressure but Jones is coming one way Simon Black the other Eagles collide clean ball taken by Hart to Lappin 50 out Ackerman has stumbled at the wrong moment Braun front spot 50-50 ball Voss is working over the top of him with Punda death touch comes back to Judd he slung ball comes out wide Black on the left boot up and under they need some brave men here the fly was Lynch it comes to Notting to Morrison strong tackle tackle lingered holding the man a very clever play there by Chad Morrison you can see Ackerman is coming on just always had his measure as far as speed concerned just got it away at the right time very very nerve biting when it comes to being in the back half Chambers is loose he's done some good things in this last quarter Callum Chambers under two minutes to go Eagles lead by four points Chambers forced to keep the left boot the possession had to be good Shattuck up strong mark in front of Staker Brisbane with one last roll of the dice with 90 seconds to go and all but two players forward of the ball they'll set up from centre half back through Brad Scott Shattuck copy as you saw as well Brad Scott now has it switches play to Johnson trying to open up something down the line man on man all over the ground now West Coast every man has an opponent Johnson thumps it long good hard running from Corey to present an option ball stays alive Lynch stands up bumped the youngster off and the ball's out of bounds Corey's heart was in his mouth I think for a moment there as Lynch started to take off with the football he was hoping the bounds round by called it out he did and with 61 seconds remaining you expect games like this to break open at some stage and this one just hasn't it's just stayed an arm wrestle all afternoon what a gritty contest it's been McLaren got the tap black can the champions pull something from the fire Voss to the 50 one on one Lynch worked ground under the ball bounce to the pocket McRae and Ackermanis Ackermanis taken down by Braun still alive Lynch over the top of it they pile in and a bounce with 36-35 now on the clock they'd be happy the Eagles if that ball stayed in clock doesn't stop under 30 seconds they dominated the stoppages Brisbane they need one here Powell was being held by the jumper spills free to Lappin shoots for goal misses that was the opportunity I think they've had more than one opportunity Brisbane so far in this last quarter they've just peppered away at the moment you'd have to calculate the Eagles have been very lucky with some of the misses very uncharacteristic for the Brisbane Lions players with 15 seconds remaining West Coast just have to kill this ball now to Embley he can hold on to it in the back pocket it was a crunch game for the West Coast Eagles they were one and two they were challenged and fittingly the ball finishes in the hands of Chris Judd as more than 39 and a half thousand fans celebrated Subiaco congratulations to both sides for a gutsy contest neither one stood down but went right to the wire in the end Brisbane ran out of foot soldiers, the Eagles held their nerve, and West Coast 12-7-79 have defeated the Brisbane Lions 10-16-76. Well, the Brisbane Lions like to keep their opposition down to 12 goals. They've managed to do that here at Subiaco Oval today, but haven't won a game of football. Intriguing style of football from both sides, Tim Gossage, something we haven't seen from the West Coast Eagles under John Borsfold for a year and a half. Chris Judd had a game high, 30 possessions, kicked a goal, and he's downstairs with Lockie Reid. Well, Judd, you were jumping around, celebrating it, and that's an important win for the club. Very much so. So our first minute home, and having lost a couple of close ones really means a lot to the boys. Tell us just how hard it was. Oh, they're a pretty physical team, um, and they run pretty hard too. So, I mean, they're the best team in the comp, so that's always pretty hard, but great to get the four points. The pressure got mounted on you about winning at home. Was there a fair bit of pressure leading into this game? Oh, a little bit, but I mean, the players don't take too much notice of that. We just stick to our routine and, and you know, prepare as well as we can. How did you finish the game? Because uh, you were sensational all the way through. Thanks, mate. Yeah, well, you know, no worries. Very <laughs> speechless, mate. Good on you. Good game. Chris Judd physically spent, as are so many of the players,